welcome back. Um, it's been a while since my last video. Uh, unfortunately, we've had a real shocker for uh, weather over the last uh, few weeks. There's been like no wind whatsoever or way too much. Day seven, way too windy, doesn't work. And what wind we have had has been really gusty, really squally, it's just not been very nice. Um, not really had much to film because I've not been getting going and uh, it's been it's just been really bad. Anyway, um, had a few days where uh, things have actually improved, had a little bit of wind, learned a few things. Um, biggest thing that I have done which has made a massive difference is um, the adjustable foil at the rear. Um, I have adjusted it to the full uh, deflection to give downward force on this which will give you upward force on the main foil. Um, it does make a huge difference. Uh, the board is lifting a lot quicker. Um, someone said to me, adjust it. If you've got to hold the board down, um, fine, you're holding the board down, you're foiling as opposed to having it level and not be going. It's like I said in the previous videos about sails and about wind. It's all well and good, you know, I've got a small sail, I can do this, but if you've got no wind, you're not going. Um, I bought a 7.2, um, had a really good day on it, and I was up and I learned. Then I went back to a 6, not enough wind, put a 7 up, got it going a few times. Um, yesterday I was on a 5, uh, with everybody else on 6.5s that were on windsurf kit. And I was going, I was fine, I was up, and even at some points then I was getting a little bit overpowered. But because there was wind, I was able to pump and keep on pumping and get going, and then I was actually foiling quite nicely. It is true, they say, if you can just hook in, lean back, get get up and planing, you're going to be over overpowered once you get onto the foil. Um, I've got a couple of bits of video to show you. Unfortunately, I don't know how to do voiceover with the video, so what I'll do is I'll just put subtitles on the bottom. There's a couple of bits, there's one where I was in very, very overpowered on a 6. Um, just the action of taking my foot back to put it in the foot strap, the board was immediately overpowered, completely just zoomed up in the air and threw me off. Um, it did it four or five times and in the end I twisted my ankle quite badly in the foot strap so I just gave up on that and I spent about 20 minutes just going backwards and forwards out of the foot straps and just just windsurfing really and to be quite honest I think even that helped I got a feeling for the board wanting to lift and you know it was all experience uh Um, I then um, got foiling and I've come had a bit of a problem with the board like railing um, and I put that down to now I think because I didn't have my back foot strap on I wasn't able to lift my heel to control the rail so it was it was tipping in again there's a little bit of video there um, but what you will see is that I can actually get going sorted happy and then when I'm ready the board comes out. Um, which is good, however, um, yesterday and today the wind was a bit stronger so I was able to bear off, get a little bit of speed, get into the strap and then pump and then once I was actually up and running I was already in the foot strap I was in a lot more control if you try and do it windsurfing where you pump you get planing and then you move back into the foot straps um, the problem with that is you're now doing 12 15 knots as soon as you try to move back into the foot strap you you, you lift you, you load the fin the foil and, and it will flip you off um, so it is actually quite difficult to get planing and then once you're actually planing move back you've, you've got to really try and get that foot in the foot strap as you pick up speed um, 
Um, if not, the other way of doing it, if it's flat, is uh, to bring your back foot right up close to the foot strap, then step your front foot back into the foot strap so they're almost touching, and then you can move your foot back because that will actually keep the board down. Um, the problem I've had over the last two or three weeks is when it's been windy, it's been unbelievably choppy and uh, it's almost uncontrollable because as, as, as you're picking up speed if the board goes up a piece of chop obviously the nose is now pointing up the foil is pointing up and it just wants to it just wants to lift out it's, it's incredibly difficult so um, again uh, the basics bear off if you bear off that's the way forward pump the sow two pumps start moving back try and get in the foot strap once you're in the foot strap if you've still got a bit of forward speed and the board feels like there's it's moving and there's a bit of power you, you're going to get going you can just give it large on the pump and you'll be up and because you then get up in the foot strap you're automatically in control um i'd say at the moment my longest run has probably been about about 35 40 seconds where i've been up going and comfortable it's then hit the water and dropped down and i sort of count that as the end of the run but then picked up again popped down coming up so averaging about 25 to 30 seconds but a few that have, have been sort of above 30 seconds not quite had a minute yet but it's getting there um it, and it is it's addictive every time you want you get going you want one more run you want one more run um I think now we're in the region of it's just got to be the right conditions. So pick the day, pick the right sale, hopefully flat and go. Anyway, little bits of video now. Um, and I'll, like I said, I'll put subtitles. And uh, yeah, as you can see, this is, I think my today was day 10. Um, and I would reckon that so far my time on the foil out of my 10 days it's probably about three and a half to four minutes that's it but you know it's not a lot of time to learn it but each time you do get better and I feel now that if I go out on a day when it's about 12 to 13 knots I'll be on a six meter and if it's flat and constant I'll be up and I'll be going and uh, yeah hopefully then we'll get a bit of film and we'll go from there but yeah um, the big thing that use it see you soon